What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. This is the next video in the 31 Days of Q&A, and it's part two in the How I Lost 20 Pounds this year. So, in video one, which I will put in the description box, you'll be able to see what happened in phase one of my weight loss process throughout this year. Today, I'm going to cover phase two. So phase two started about halfway through September and it went until it got really cold, like cold enough that I was uncomfortable walking outside. So once it started hitting like 40 degree mornings, man, it was just too cold for me and I did not walk anymore. And then I went on to phase three. So the main difference between... Um, everything that I was doing in the summer and that I covered in video one in phase two is that I started doing intermittent fasting. I wanted to give this a try. Um, I was watching some videos mainly by a guy named Dr. Eric Berg, <coughs> excuse me. And he kept talking about the benefits of intermittent fasting and it turns out there's a lot of potential benefits from this. So, um, I, I can't remember all the benefits. You're going to have to watch some of his videos. They're very plentiful. They're, they're fairly short. They're usually like five to ten minutes. You can digest them pretty quickly. But he was talking about specifically when you do intermittent fasting, it increases the amount of um, hormone-sensitive lip paste, I believe is what he called them. I have some notes here, but I don't have that on here. But I think it's called hormone-sensitive lip paste. L-I-P-A-S-E. So, um... It could have a different pronunciation from from what I'm saying, but I think it's lip paste. So what I so what I wanted to do was I just wanted to basically try this out because I thought maybe if I don't eat as much and extend that that fasting window, maybe I will um, increase my lip paste. And what lip paste does is it mobilizes fat <clears throat> fat uh, molecules out of the fat cell so that they can so that those molecules can be used as energy so i was thinking maybe i can just focus on fat loss for a little bit longer and uh and go from there and utilize you know leverage all these benefits uh, especially in regards to fat loss so i i usually have my last meal around nine o'clock like i kid you not if i don't eat something between like 8 30 and 9 30 i wake up in the middle of the night hungry and then I just try to get back to sleep and I just lose a lot of sleep so I usually eat something around 8 30 9 9 30 that's my last meal and then I don't eat again until between 10 30 and noon on the weekends I'll actually continue that out even longer like if I'm gonna go for a cheap cheap meal at the Chinese place then I'll stretch that out to even like one or two o'clock sometimes three o'clock it ain't easy but um, I'll tell you, going into it, I thought I was going to have a headache every single day because historically, if I don't eat every like three hours, I end up with a headache. Well, so far from like the middle of September until now, the very end of December, I have not had one single headache during that intermittent fasting window this whole entire time. I have had headaches that have come on later, but I think most of those are from stress and um, from tension in my neck, like if my neck's off a little bit or if I strain it a little bit, maybe my neck will cause problems, I'll get a headache. It's maybe a couple sinus headaches from allergies and things like that. But other than that, not one single headache this whole entire time during that intermittent fasting window. Um, I'm still, I was still walking during phase two. Like I said, it was still warm. Um, and I didn't stop walking until it got into the forties in the morning. It was just too cold and I didn't want to do it anymore. So, um, and this phase lasted about a month. So it was partway through the, the month of September. It went partway into October and I don't have the exact dates written down. And still the, the eating that I'm doing when I'm eating is clean. So it's, it's still a real clean diet. And then also something in addition to all this was at the end of September, 
I want to say like September 24th, 26th, 28th, something like that. I went and had a food sensitivity test and I found out what foods I'm most sensitive to. And I have re removed almost all of those foods. So like dramatically reduced um, milk, almost never eat cheese anymore, got rid of onions, got rid of lettuce, um, got rid of almonds. That's, that's five of them. And like the other 15, I just either have never eaten them. I don't know why I'm sensitive to them or I haven't eaten them barely at all. So, uh, so that's been going well. And, um, this is going to be a quick video, man, because this phase has been really, was really short. I'm going to be coming at you at the end of this month with phase three. But if you have any questions, you know, feel free to go back to video one, ask any questions you'd like to. I can clarify phase two. I can clarify anything you have questions on in video three. And you don't have to be an email subscriber for, for uh, follow-up questions on phase three. But um, that's really about it. And if I remember correctly, I think I lost 15 pounds during phase one. I lost another two or three pounds during phase two. Again, over a month. We're going to talk about phase three in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to give a big one of these. Make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions for the other videos, make sure you get on my email newsletter at jed.diesel at gmail.com or email me, and I will get you added to the list. Thanks, everybody. Take care.